Hey everyone, it's Steve from the garden. Well, the time has finally come where the weather's stabilized enough and the temperatures are good where I can now plant my onions. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do as far as laying them out, how I'm prepping the bed, and we'll go quickly through the actual planting. For laying out the bed, this bed is 34 inches wide and I'm gonna be planting on an eight inch row. So I'm gonna come in five inches off the side and six inches off the end. And then I'm gonna plant the onions every six inches within the row. And I will put the metric equivalents to that down below so that you can see them in metric. So but what I did is I measured out five inches and then I put screws in the ends at every eight inches and I ran string up and down the bed so I would have, you know, a guideline for planting all the onions out. Now as far as actually doing the spacing within the row, I'm just going to use a tape measure, do every six inches. Now in the years past I did the Patterson onions which don't get quite as big, a little bit closer. But this year I'll just do everything on a six inch uh, within row spacing. In terms of other prep for the bed. These beds I amended with horse manure and compost last fall. So really nutrient wise they should be pretty good. But I am going to put down just a very light layer of bone meal all the way down the bed and then I don't have that much bone meal left so I'll probably end up using a little bit of balanced organic fertilizer in there too. I also am going to have drip irrigation this year. It's still a little cold out for me to put that in right now, but basically right down the middle of each row is where I'm going to put my drip irrigation. And I'll lay that drip tape right on the surface. And I'll cover that in like a future video so that you can see exactly what I'm doing as far as laying out each of these raised beds that way. Now these are my transplants. So this side is the candy onions. So these are my transplants right here. These sized up pretty well and these are a good sized transplant for me. And you know, I'm still gonna get cold weather and I'm still gonna get some nights that go below freezing. So these bigger transplants should be able to survive uh, that cold spell. And after I get done planting, I'm also gonna put my hoops in place so I can put plastic over here if I do get like colder temperatures than about 30 degrees. All right, so before I actually get the transplants going in the ground, let me go and put some fertilizer down and then we'll come back for the actual transplanting part. Putting the fertilizer down, I'm just gonna sprinkle some of this bone meal on here and I'll do the same with the balanced organic fertilizer. For planting onions, I pop some of the onions out of the tray and I just use a stick to push it off from the bottom since the soil in the tray is a little bit wet. In this case, I'm just going to use my finger to create a little hole, put my plug in there, go over to the other side, and I'll go over six inches. I might tape measure it's marked, you know, every 12, every six inches is marked. So you got two foot, and then they showed like the six inch mark. Go ahead and put it in. Pop them in there, and I'll do that all the way down the row. I have a cell where I had two plants in there. So I'm just gonna try to tease these apart. Usually onions are fairly easy to do that with. But these ones are a little bit tougher for some reason. But you can see, I was able to kind of pull them apart. And I can plant each of these individually. So I can just take them, put my finger in, plant them down. I'm trying to get it so it just kind of covers this like little bulb area. It should be good enough. To make it a little easier for transplanting these, I pulled some out of the tray and then I got my tape measure so I can just go exactly where I need to. Pop in the plugs and go down six inches, put the next one in. I'm done with the candy onions and now moving on to the Pattersons. And so this is one of the transplants I got. 
And I'll just plant these the same way. As I go through and plant these, I'm choosing my best or largest plants for transplanting. And if I run out of the larger ones, then I just progressively go down in size. Like on the candy onions, which I didn't have as good a germination this year as I normally get. By the time I got down to the end, I was using, I'd say, like medium-sized transplants instead of the larger ones. But I still had enough to finish off what I needed without having to resort to the very small ones. All the onions are in. Now I just need to put my hoops in place. You can see I got the, all the other ones. These are 3 8 inch PVC pipe. Cut to five foot lengths. Gives me just enough room to cover these onions in case the cold comes and I need to put some plastic over the top of it. Put the onions and hoops in place. Everything's ready to go. Now if I do get a cold spell, I can cover them with plastic. And if it's gonna get real cold where it's gonna get down below say 26 degrees Fahrenheit, I can put some old incandescent Christmas lights down the middle of each of the double rows to provide a little extra warmth in addition to the plastic I have. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed, got something out of this, and we'll see you on the next one.